Uh, my name is Martin Blankenship. I'm the head wrestling coach at Curry High School in Jasper, Alabama, and I'm making this video just about a basic inside cradle because when I searched one on YouTube, I found a lot of variations, but just nothing really on a basic cradle. So I'm going to talk about a basic cradle real quick. So when you line up on your opponent, really cradles are to be done anytime your opponent's head and knee are close together, but I'm just going to show you for basic purposes from the start. You can hit a cradle from the starting position, but I'd suggest waiting and doing it only when your opponent's head and knee is close together. So on the whistle, when the referee blows the whistle, you're going to take your hand, or in any other situation, take your hand off the elbow, forearm comes across the back of the neck and forces their neck down hard. You're going to have to put a lot of force on that with the forearm. You take the hand that's on the belly button, you come back, you may have to bump his rear end up with your knee. You take this hand that was on the belly button and you put it behind his inside knee, lock your hands together. And then you're going to need to back up a little bit, put the top of your head in his rib cage, and with your hands locked together, slowly push him over to his, to his side. Then when you get him here, you continue pushing slowly with your feet until you're laying on top of him. One variation is you can hook this leg when you get him on his hip and then roll over his head like so. And that's the basic inside cradle. 